Hi, and welcome to Brookdale Newsmakers, your source for what's happening on our campus and in your community. I'm Darren D'Amato, and joining us today is Zach Eisenberg, Vice President of PTK. Zach, thank you for coming here. It's a pleasure to be here, Darren. Thanks for having me. And what does PTK stand for? Uh, Phi Theta Kappa. That's the aggregate society of what we're constituents of. Okay, and uh, what are you constituents of? In uh, the Honor Society. Um, that's the federal whole society that we are representatives of, and our chapter particularly at Brookdale is Alpha Pi Theta. Okay, and I understand that you have embarked upon a new initiative as part of PTK? Yes, it is. Um, C4. It's short for Community College Completion Corps. Um, that's the initiative that they have taken as a whole, PTK, and Alpha Pi Theta is doing things in particular throughout this year specifically um, to carry that out and promote it. Okay, and uh, why is it so important for students to get their associate's degree? Well, adv as advocates of the Honor Society, um, we want to promote how you receive your certificate and how imperative that is before you matric matriculate onto a four-year institution. There are articulation agreements uh, with four-year schools, um, but that's, that's not enough because there are students that are taking, you know, circumventing the whole process and leaving after one year, and we want to strive to show how important it is that you uh, utilize to its fullest capacity what Brookdale and other community colleges have to offer. Okay, and what happens when a student is uh, circumventing Brookdale? Um, well, the thing is, is that after two years, um, sometimes three, 20% mm -hmm. uh, of students actually do not complete all of their credentials um, before that three-year or two-year framework. Um, so what happens is when they apply to a four-year institution for any sort of jobs, um, they, are, they don't have the full accolades that they could have. The transfer process becomes a little intricate um, as far as the, cre the credits taken. If you have your associate's degree, it's a little easier. It facilitates that process of how many credits they take. Um, and more importantly, uh, it's a financially sound de decision how you can go on to a four-year school. Um, and they compensate for that uh, pretty generously. Okay, so there are some economical ramifications if a student were to not matriculate here at Brookdale? Correct, um, and even on the toolkit on the community college site, that's uh, ccompletioncore.com, the community college completion core, um, it states facts. Uh, it's not just rhetoric, it goes into long-term effects as well. Um, you can, you typically, the student on average receives $8,000 more a year. Um, if they do complete their associate's degree, um, 400000 in a lifetime, so that's a significant amount as well. Um, so vis-a-vis -vis, you know, getting a job um, and keeping that job as well, it's, it's, pretty uh, it's pretty important. And unemployment has actually decreased on average 30% um, when a student does receive their associate's degree and goes on to, to receive a job afterwards. Okay, so uh, what are some of the initiatives that you've embarked upon as part of the C4 initiative? Well, so far this year, um, we've... We've taken a dichotomous approach with executives from the school, such as Dr. Murphy, our president, and um, um, other, other individuals as well. We have signs in our library, that's a bank your library, and other parts of campus, such as Larison Hall, where the majority of English classes are as well. Um, that's pretty, op those are optimal demographics we want to reach out to, because most kids are in the library, whether they're studying or not. Um, we have displays, they sign banners, just to show that they advocate and support. They want to promote this program to show that they are willing to get their certificate first, antecedent to graduating and going on to a four-year school or a vocational job or anything that they're interested in. Um, that's, where, that's pretty much where our support lies in other students. Um, we are students taking the initiative to entice them to join, uh, and, and the most influential people are fellow peers and students, and that's why we want to take this road. Um, it's, it's not, professors can do a significant job um, considerably when it comes to impacting their students in the classroom, but the most important people that can influence others is your, is your fellow students that are juxtaposed next to you in each class. Okay, thank you, Zach, and we're very fortuitous to have you have joined us today. Thank you for joining us on Brookdale Newsmakers. Our guest today was Zach Eisenberg. For more information, visit brookdalecc.edu or check us out on Facebook. I'm Darren D'Amato, and see you next time here on Brookdale Newsmakers.